The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi, folks. How's the chap? Yeah, last, uh, last day for me of the week that I can do my show. I will be doing my newsletter tomorrow morning, send it out early, but I won't be I won't be able to do my show. So <clears throat> this is going to be, I'm going to do a kind of composite here. Let me just do this. In the Dow chart, in fact, you know what? I'll go right here. Because it's so important. I, I've spoken about this over and over. I actually didn't fully believe it because, you know, it's just technical analysis after all. But the the veracity that this show this chart shows is just quite extraordinary. Let me show you something. As it pops up, this is with the uh, just the nine period and the fourteen period moving averages as just a wonderful kind of a. Uh, uh, a guiding path, not a GPS per se, but just something that just sits there saying, hey, um, watch me because I'm really important. Look, here's the Dow. And when the nine period moving average, this is the price of the Dow, big thick gray line. I typed in here five, three. This is the third, a year, a month ago, uh, not quite a month. At 33,684, I typed in, let me just find the date here. This is what did I said was May. Oh, wait, wait, one month ago, it was more than one month ago. It was full of May, full of June. Yeah, two months ago, right. So there it is. There it is. I said, uh, Dow is the thick gray line, 90 is the green or pink, and the 14 period moving average is black. So look what happened. You went negative, and the price came down. Then you went positive, and the price went up. And then when the price of the Dow pulled back, and what we did is we took out the money, uh, the the trading very short term U D O W position, we took profits and profits and profits, and then we just got out. I said, let's step aside. We did go short the S and P only because I I should have focused it on the Dow itself, but um, I decided to keep them separate. So we've just taken a very very tiny loss uh, in the three times short the S and P. It is actually still above. Uh, the the uh, stop that I had, but this morning, just briefly, it went under it and took us out for a nine cent loss uh, uh, from the uh, fourteen fifty nine to fourteen fifty. That's the original position. But look what happened here in the Dow. It went under it, and I said to subscribe, I, I I like what I'm seeing, and we missed at that very low the other day. Uh, that was on, I think on the twenty sixth. The the U Dow, let me just go to the U Dow right here. The U Dow, is two times long, went to 5583, and I think we had a buy in at 5578, something like that. Missed it by pennies. And then it ran up and had a really good session, then it pulled back. But look, the nine period moving average is so close to turning negative. And yet it's deflecting higher. I don't know if it's going to do something like this where it looked like it was going to cross. That was back in late April. And then it deflected higher for one big, quick, sharp move to the upside. But I have to tell you something. The way the Dow is, is the Dow 30, the mix that it has for me is so important because what it's doing is telling me a lot about the economy. I don't want to go into that right now. I want you to just focus on this. Look, here is the 9 over the 14. Here's the S&P. Maybe for those of you who like to, to use the SPY, I'll do that. It's the same thing. It went under it sharply, under the black line, which is the 14 period moving average. The green, if it goes above the 14, it stays green when it slips like it did for one day back in early May. Under it goes pink. And now look at this. It's holding very nicely, but... There is a slight difference, the differential between the green and, and the black, the nine period. This is called the, this is the the distance between the two is shrinking a little bit, but only shrinking a little bit. And now look at the QQQ. It's something a little different here. Why? 
because the rally, each rally is making lower highs and lower lows. So that just says to me, stick with what you know in the sense that the Dow 30 really is a composite of so many factors that are, are dealing directly with the economy. Look, today we just had J.P. Morgan uh, move up because of the bank um, test success. And there it is, goes down, one, one bar goes pink, and now it's back to L long. And look at that price movement. So I respect this. Now, I use the MACD, I use all these other things, but I have to tell you, this is so important. Look, XLK, XLK, turning down a little bit. Look at the SMHs. Uh, SL, uh, XLK is the S&P Select uh, Tech Fund. And look at this. Here's the, the uh, SMHs, down $1.13. So we had tried to short via the SOXS. Um, that didn't work out. I have to tell you something that this is going to be a very interesting market for a number of reasons. Let me just go back here to show you something with the XLF. Look, the XLF also looks so close as the S&P Select Financial. I'm using just one indicator, the 914. I call it the Chamber of 914. Okay. And this particular instance, close, 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 and then it defects up, and here it is. Uh, you got a 41 cent gain, a 1.23 gain in the XLF. Look at KRE. KRE, not quite the same chart. It was pink, pink, pink. It's still pink. It's struggling. Why? It is up 1.04. It's 41.58. This is the regional bank ETF. So all I can say is keep in mind that there are some indicators that are not timing indicators in the sense that the 914 doesn't give you the timing of an exact turn. I use other things for that. But it does say to you, if you want to stay in a trend longer than you would imagine based on other techniques, try to use this particular technique. It really does help. All right. With that said, I wanted to go to something else here. Okay, I want to go through all the different indices. So here's the Dow. I don't know, maybe the today at 34,038 just a moment ago. That's the high of the day. I don't care. We did, uh, we did go back long, got a fairly tight stop. Uh, we've got the core position from October right here. This is the monthly chart. So look, here's the monthly chart. It's moving out of this inside track repellent zone diagonal, uh, to these two lines, inside track little channel. But you would do that just based on time. What is interesting is that the S&P has gone sharply above. Oh, how does it work? Well, look at this. Here's the E-mini. Here's your 10-minute chart. And I drawn this in based on that peak D, that beautiful cup formation that made a peak D at 4 o'clock. There was that sudden spike up. And I said, we could be stuck in a, in a fairly tight range. Well, we were stuck in a range. It was a little wider than tight, but still, when you think it's an S&P E-mini overnight, going from uh, 44.29 to 44, about 44.15, at a 15-point range is really not overnight. That's not a big deal. Then all of a sudden, at about 4 o'clock this morning, we went 10-minute chart, peak A, peak B, C, and then it came with C. And I just joined this upper two um, candles, and I drew in that, and I drew the falling axe formation, which is just an expanding cone. That should give you a one-to-one -one on the breakout if it does that to the upside. And it went almost one to one, went to that sudden 8.30, a 9 o'clock, 8.30 to 9 o'clock spike, pulls back, pulls back sharply, and now the 200 period moving average. Tigers and tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're going to break. I was asking about Palantir, PLTR is a symbol down two cents at 15.26. And uh, leg B in the monthly chart, uh, peak D in the weekly, but holding really nicely. It had a huge move. This is that dreaded H that I always talk about, the pattern we are so familiar with, especially in the rectangle when it does just one big move to the upside, goes to uh, a, a peak B underneath the previous high. That was a G slash C, but it could be a C1, C2. Either way, it looked very toppy short term, and it pulls back. The MACD deflected lower. All the technicals are really weak, except that 9 deflected back up again. It didn't go red. It just turned up. So this is holding very nicely. I'd say that it's probably a, a huge move. I mean, just in a couple of weeks, it's gone from the uh, $7 range to the most recent of 17. I mean, it needs a digestive phase. Nothing wrong there. Okay. So I wanted to show you the weekly chart, uh, sorry, the monthly chart of uh, of the S&P. Let me just go back to that. Uh, I'll go through this S&PX because that's what we look at all the time. So he has a gray A right here. And this has made a G C as a top at 44, 48, 47, around about the 16th or so of uh, June. But look at this. It's gone to the peak E. It did the left side, right side price time match uh, right here. A beautiful, beautiful symmetry from the left side to the right side. It it deserves a bit of a break, and he has a leg C nicely outside. So this is the pattern we're looking at. So this should be at some point, if this is to do those one-to-one -one parallel extensions that I always talk about in the Chapman Wave methodology. Um, and I, ooh, it's going to make it messy. I'll do this just for now to show you. So we make this thick. Click, click, click. Make it blue going up just so you can recognize what's going on. And then make it light green going to the next section. Uh, yeah, we go new parallel. Make that light green. There we go. And normally I would be very careful and I'd go from the base 
after you've gone to the falling axe extend uh, um, inside track repellent zone, I go to the a little V shape under it. I don't go to the breakout level. That's something altogether. That'll take us almost to the 4800 area. I, I, I'm very concerned with that way. So you can see it's just underneath 4500 is really the target for this one to one to the upside. Um, and that's exactly what I was looking at here in the 10 minute chart. Let me show you. So this is the top line. And then we went one. And now I go to the little trough after you've gotten to that PD pullback. And that went up there. And now it's come down sharply. Now you've got peak A, peak B. The MACD is starting to improve. The histogram is improving, but it's not yet positive. The stochastics allows you at 43.83. On balance volume is very good. But price is the arbiter of the trend. And the price, you can see with this huge cup formation, almost like inverted uh, Eiffel Tower, right? Now it's going right back to the high. And this is now leg A, B. This is leg C. So I'm going to put an up arrow only because of price, not so much because of the technicals, although they are in the daily chart, they're improving a lot. Look, there's your A. Yes, I know it's the end of the month, but I was... Okay, let me just get this out the way. When I look at the potential for a really sharp drop where I really want to increase. I want to get a, a really big position on the short side on one of the uh, indices, the three times short or whatever it is. I go heavily into it. I don't just say small or nibble or whatever. I say, well, let's get a, let's start a position. That's a, that's a commitment. So in this particular instance, because the nine period moving averages were so strong, I did not do that. So I'm not looking at this, oh, look, look, it's just the end of the month and all that. I think there is buying in that rotation of the Dow 30. Some of those groups are working. Look at the, look, look at the, um, the way the S&P, every time it's got smacked, that 200 period moving average has acted as a springboard. It'll be a magnet if we start to pull back under 44.22. It's at 44.26 right now, but I think it's going to make a leg C in the 10-minute chart. So that, this is the same technique that I used earlier on. Let me just go back now. I want to go because uh, the month is going to end without me being here for the last day of the month. So I want to try to get as much done right now. So, yeah, just a question came in. Um, I, let me just see where where did it go? Um, okay, hi Basil. The SMH looks like it's ready to take a big breather and maybe start heading down to fill the gap. Do you think now is the time for the SMH to carry the market down, or could could be a few more weeks? Thanks, Kevin. So, Kevin. And the reason why I just broke off and I spoke about the Dow is because in this, it's not even a bifurcated market, as, as I said to subscribers the other day. It's really not even a trifurcated. There are just separate groups. And even within the groups, you, you've got some diversity. So um, what we, we're looking at here is, and I just explained, now that we've got the financials, I, usually I get Bank of America at, uh, close to the lows, but I've been busy with other things. And even now, based on the weekly chart, I don't know if the financials are going to hold up in this particular move right at this moment, a fabulous move on the day. I would give it a little bit more time, and I'm not sure I would go back into Bank of America. I might just make it uh, either a generic thing or choose this is where I want to choose the best of the best of the group. So I might do that. But in the meantime, so for subscribers, what we're looking at, oh, by the way, subscribers, tonight I'll be doing my weekly overview. Uh, I want to just get it out the way. Um, and there's a lot to discuss, and I'm going to try to com com compact it so you don't have to spend the whole night listening. Just I'll try to compact it as much as possible. With the stocks that we are looking at, this is such a perfect time to be looking at stocks. For instance, we got one yesterday. We didn't get the full position, but we saw the position, and it's up uh, about, uh, about 3 or 4%. It's in, in a very, you know, in this very short time. Now I tried to get back into one of my favorites. Uh, it, it, I don't know what happened. It got, it, there was some selling pressure. So if you were very lucky and you got in late after the market opened, you might, it might still be in. But we took a little bit. It's the first loss we've had in this one that we've had really good success with. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, I wanted to just show you that there's, there's a huge, look, XLB, XLB. 
is the materials. Materials are holding beautifully, but they haven't really broken out, but they are holding well. You've gone to peak C in the daily chart. It could be C1, C2. It doesn't matter. It's holding well. The weekly chart made this arch formation, which then turns into a very positive cup formation, which says it should head towards the upper level if it closes above the arch high, which is done a couple of times. So that means the XL, there we go, XLB is in play to the upside right now. I, I'd be very selective. I'd rather use some of the components, one of the components, one of the leading components rather than in this case have the overall um, S&P fund. So the weekly week chart has turned a potential dreaded H pattern into a cup formation. So it's acting well, but not, I mean, when you consider what's going on, and you consider the HGX, which is the health index, it's just making a peak D today in the daily, a leg G slash B, fantastic action in the weekly, and the monthly chart made an all-time high. Chat wave overlapping wave and should go to a leg D. It's in leg C. So that's why I'm saying I can't get overly negative. I'll talk about that in a moment. I'll be right back. Dow's up just a little, up 200 and four. I'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So, uh, yeah, look at Caterpillar holding really well. Do yeah. So let me just go through this now because I think it's really it's educational. 
And that's what we're all about here at um, TFN. Um, if there were, and I had spoken about this for about a week now, I've been saying if this is really serious in terms of the selling pressure, you would get the S&P just, there'd be bad news. Remember, I'll show this chart as I'm talking. Look at this chart right here. Uh, right here, but I hope it's up there in the right one. There you go. INDU. Okay. I've spoken in this chart about this dark news cloud cover that just keeps filtering in. And whether the market sometimes ignores it or it takes it in seriously, that's the issue. But at this particular point, we're in the area where you can expect bad news. That says that at any time, I'm not going to say this summer or this fall, or this at any time, wherever it is, if the Dow breaks above this level, yeah, you've got an inverted head and shoulders. Yes, the left side shoulder. Yes, the head. Yes, the right side shoulder. You can break up the neckline, and if you start trading the 35,000s, you could be looking at something completely different. So all I'm saying is that this dark news cloud cover is is there. But it also impacts certain sectors. So here we are. Caterpillar is a part. I'm sure it's part of Pave. I haven't checked other components uh, the last couple of days. I might be forgetting what it is. Oh, I just messed up. Let me just put that in here. Look, Pave is the we do not have. We did have Pave once. I, I should have kept it. I just liked it, but it started to pull back. It is all time high as we're speaking at 3107. I don't know how you're going to get the home builders and the Global X U.S. Infrastructure and Development ETF at all-time highs to actually crash all in one go. It's going to be a whole process before it does. It'll have to start moving down, and then the news gets worse and worse and worse. I don't think we're there yet. Are we in an area where we could start to pull back and rotate the pullback? Because maybe <clears throat> as this particular sector pulls back, it's not showing any pullback right now, but as this sector pulls back, Maybe the financials will come back at some point very soon and start to build something. Maybe not. Is the TLT, is it the bonds? Oops, try, type it in here. Uh, let me go to this chart right here. This is the TNX. TNX.X. Look at that. TNX, gone to the D. We always say a rectangle formation that goes to the D. Be careful because if that D, and all, this is really not a very long rectangle, but I'm going to treat it as if it's close to being a long rectangle. Look, if this rect, oops, grab in the right place right there. If this rectangle goes to the D, and then this is the, this is the, let me just put that in there, D. Okay, that should not be there. That should have been a C. And here's your C. I think that this is a C right here. Okay. So if this, why is that ENPH there? It shouldn't be there. Okay. Um, a, B, C, breaking the resistance level. And this is the 10-year Treasury note. So we're looking at 38.54, 3.854 of 1.44 at this point, up 3.88% in a day. Boop, just like that. So we're looking at the yields actually going towards the higher end. Let me just do this as a lopsided gravy cup, and it finally goes to D. Look at the symmetry. I just love this. Look at this. This is Chapman Wave. Left side, right side, price, time match, right there. I thought I'd drawn it in. Maybe I drew it, I drew it into one of the other charts. Um, look at this. There's your left side. Here's your right side. Bar symmetry. There's your plumb line at that peak C. And what do I? What does it say? It says we've gotten above the high of the yield at 30, 38.59. Uh, that was in May. We went to the high of 38.51 in the week of the 14th of June. And, no, right on the 14th of June. And now, um, one day early, we've got, no, two days early, we've gotten to that left side high. The high today is 38.68, 3.868 as a yield. And it's breaking out. I can't deny 
that yields, and I'd said this before, that in the monthly chart, there is the potential for a cup formation to go back to retest those highs at about the 44 level. I'm watching this closely. And if you look at the TLT, the pattern that I, oops, the pattern that I've been talking about for some time, I show it every single day just about. The TLT, if I can type it in there, there it is. That lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m is starting to show that it's even more important over the next three weeks that the 99 to 98 support holds. Otherwise, you start to fill in all of this area. And that will affect the yields. And then I suspect that Toll Brothers and the others, Toll Brothers making a potential peak E right here with an all-time high yesterday. Unbelievable. Um, we'll be watching this very closely. And if that happens, normally you see the entire market come down. But if you're going to rotate through different sectors, that's going to help a lot. So I also have to apologize, swinging my head this way and that way to see all my uh, emails. I, I've resolved some of it just a little bit because, remember, I had to update to, the, uh, to different email. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got that. I got that. Oh, GT. Uh, GT wants to look at hood. Uh, what are you doing there? Just okay. Hood is. This is the Robin Hood. This is the broker area, broker ridge area. Hood is trading. Uh, just made a peak. G slash C. I had mentioned this yesterday. I, I think I did this yesterday. I was asked about it for someone who liked it. And I, I said, I think it's coming back. There's no question about it. It's starting to act way better than it had before. Uh, all I can say is that. I'd be careful, though. I wouldn't get too carried away. I'd rather be building on strength than trying to uh, bottom fish. And in this particular instance, the low was in the sevens, pops up to the elevens, pulls back to the eights, and now it's and yesterday it hit ten fifty, and today it's at uh, uh, ten dollars, down eighteen cents. But that two hundred period, I think this is what I spoke about yesterday. I said the two hundred period moving average is really an important component here. It's finally got to the area. It means that it could zigzag around this. And if the 200 period moving average could slowly move up, that would be a trend change, a major trend change. It hasn't done it. It's flattening out, hasn't moved up. And that's it. Then you can start to look at the 11s. I think it's going to take a little bit of time before it builds that kind of strength. But I, I do like it. If that was a question, I'm not sure if it was a question or not, but a statement. But Hood. Trading at 10 down 18 cents has acted much, much better over the past few years. And this was another reason that I, I'm going through this. IAI is a broker dealer index and it's having a big move up today. It's up $1.51 at 90.40. The lowercase h, the most. God, this is a lot of work to do. But you remember Schwab? You know the Schwab uh, from that 45 round number low? Um, is trading, it gapped up today at 56.74. Uh, I'll talk about that when we return. Basil Chapman, Tiger Commission's out. Dow's up 173, S&P's up 5. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now.
at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. All right, folks, a nice, a nice comment, a kind of statistic from Steve Rhodes in the Dan. Uh, he says, um, during the last 25 years, what percentage of the time has Apple closed higher for the next 60-day period? 21 of the last 25, or 84% of the time, the years that it didn't close higher, 2001, 2002, 2010, 2015. Um, thank you, Steve. That's really, really inf important information. Look at the way Apple's gone to a new all-time high. 182.94 was high in January of 2022. Plummets down to the 120s. Screams up again, and here it is trading at an all-time high as we speak. 190.07 was the high uh, today. And you know, people keep keep talking about this the the the, the magnificent seven, but it's. It, there are other things going on. There are other things happening at the same time. So it isn't just them. What about the uh, um, home builders? I mean, you know, and what about anything? Look at this builder in the home building area. Be, uh, be your, where did it go? Where did I type that? Let me see. Yeah. BLDR. Look at this. All time high as we speak. It hit 136.17. Builders first source in. Building materials, manufacturer components, etc. That doesn't mean to say we couldn't suddenly pull back or we have a, have a digestive phase. But as long as we can rotate through the different sectors, so I don't think that if you get the semiconductor index, which SMHs are now red, down 71 cents at 149.41, and I'm anticipating that there is a chance. I thought this could happen. It could even happen with the Dow. In fact, we've taken a little bit of profit from that uh, position we just saw because it's just a trading position right now. Um, and all I can say is, I mean, we had a, almost a 10% gain in two days. It's even less than two days because it's just an hour and a half, an hour and a quarter into the trading day today um, on, on one position. And um, this is not normal stuff. So, yeah, there are a lot of absolutely... There are sections of the market that we're watching that are, I wouldn't say bubble material, but they're getting into that really speculative area. They haven't quite reached bubble area, uh, bubble 
the designation for me, but they're getting there. That's okay. And then all of a sudden you get something like bots, which we are still long, bots, which has been digesting gains, uh, the Global X Robotics and AI ETF, which is just kind of hanging out here, as stuck, got stuck under the 9.14 period moving average. Nine is just about to turn negative, but it hasn't yet. So yeah, I am expecting rotation, but I am saying that it's remarkable how well the Dow has held in relation to what's going on. But now look what's happening. You're starting to see if you can get those financials, and you've got a couple of financials there, that will help the Dow, even though other areas look like they could start to weaken. That's all I'm saying. There's a rotation going on, not overly bullish, but I'm very impressed with certain techniques that have held and kept you in positions. Or in fact, I mean, for instance, the S&P X, the, the short that we had, if I, I don't like to change, I used to do that. I found that every time I've changed a stop that I thought about and I put in, I, I, I expanded or uh, a, um, either a stop for a, a um, on a short position or a long to cover a long position, whenever I change it, it gets taken out. It gets taken out for a higher number. So I decided we will keep it in and I took it out by, I'll put it right here. Look, the SOXS had a nice intra, intra week gain, but look what happened. So today's low is, um, oh, uh, no, I'm not looking at the SOX, I'm SPXS. Uh, today's low is 14.55. Oh, maybe some people weren't stopped out. It did go under 1450, which was the stop, briefly, just for you know, like a couple of ticks. But I'm very strict about it. Technically, we're out of it. Some people might still be in. This one could still work, but I don't like to change the stops. In other words, the SPY, which now is having a harder time, look, it didn't. It hasn't extended yesterday's gain, but it made a nice rally. Two days ago, yesterday was pretty good extension, and today it's slowing down. And the MACD's weak, stochastic's weak, but the 9 is still strong over the 14. So that's the reason why I said, let the price tell me. At this particular point, it's saying, yes, it sounds terrible. Uh, we've had a big rally, and now it's giving back some. Now the S&P has gone negative again. But look at that. It is holding. And that's what I'm saying. So, Kevin, I'm saying, yes, we could see it, but until I see the SMHs, actually see the nine period cross and I suspect the real thing will happen when we go underneath if and when we go underneath the low of the 24th which is um, I'm over, do these glasses help me or not 140 146.96 so a close under one I just make it 146 a close under 146 is yes now the semis can go down to the next level which is 142 I think 142.98. That's all I'm doing step by step because if you did anything else other than step by step for the last many months, you, you could get twisted each way. You could be in and then out and in and out. It's just much better to be looking at it and saying, tell me. Tell me what's next. All right, so that's that. Next thing I want you to do is I, I, went, I did that. Oh, I didn't cover the dollar. The dollar is in a leg B, uh, but it hasn't gotten close enough to the 103.65 yeah, the 200 period exponential moving average did go to 103.44. It's getting close. The closer it can get to about 103.55, the, the, the quicker it goes to 103.65, which is the 200 period moving average. But think of this in the weekly chart, we've got a lowercase h that has gone to a lowercase m, the dreaded h pattern that goes to an m, successfully goes to an m pattern, hasn't taken out the left side low of early earlier this year, and it's just stuck in a range. That's all I'm saying. That is, it looks like it's stuck in a range. So, um, yeah, so those are the things I wanted to cover. There's something that I had written down. Let me see what I wrote down. Um, so, ARWR, I think we did that. Was that yesterday? I did write it down because it was an interesting pattern. Yeah, making a leg C, possibly peak C today. This is the same pattern, and all we're looking at is does it have the power to break away from the 200 period moving average? Well, now it has the impetus because the nine is over the 14, but it needs price has to move. And it's at 3686.06. This is Arrowhead Pharma, Biotech. Next question came in. Oh, JetBlue. So JetBlue. 
Oh, nice move up to leg E. Now it's starting to slow down. You see how the little the bars are getting smaller and smaller? So it's going to have a little bit of a digestive phase up, seven cents at 8.80. Now, the monthly chart looks horrible. The weekly chart has gone from a sine wave arch to a cup. So it's just swinging back, the trading back, the one per second. Up. So, yeah, so this is really important. And if anybody's traveled lately on the airlines, wow. You're lucky if your flight gets there, and you're lucky if you get any food. I'll be right back. <laughs> Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. I uh, just got the chart here. And let me say, just for the rest of the day, if we take out 4408 40, as support, then we probably get to close pretty weak. But uh, in the meantime, the 200-period moving average of 4417 uh, is kind of 
that's been the magnet point in the 10 minute chart. Now, let me do a couple of things. I first of all, I wish I want, want to wish you all a very, very, uh, just a, a wonderful, relaxing, and enjoyable long weekend and a 4th of July. And um, I, we, are, we are closed on Monday, and I will be away tomorrow. I will be doing my, uh, I will be doing the newsletter for tomorrow morning. And I hope to at least get something out, maybe Monday, just very brief Monday. If there's anything to be done, we'll just do the same thing we did today. And it stays in place for Monday, but that's not important. It's just a short day. But trading is trading. I mean, if the markets open, there are positions. So that's number one. Number two is within the context of uh, all the stuff that we do here, check out the front page of TFN. This is that 4th of July, wonderful. Uh, this is gift time for TFN. They're going to give you a, a mug, I believe, um, if you sign up for Tiger Dollars. And that's just a fabulous buy. You know, you're always looking for bargains. It's just a you know, 20 to, what is it, up to 40% a discount on your position. On your, on every position. If you like the opening call, this is a great time to uh, get the, get an, uh, extend it or even try it out. Not only that, you get a 30-day trial, 29-day trial. So have a wonderful rest of the, uh, the rest of the week and weekend. I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Wednesday.